I don't know if I'm more nervous or just relieved um, to talk to you. I am very sorry for not being open and honest with you from the start. And I know a lot of you that watch my videos and follow my Instagram were asking questions and guessing and asking, asking me to be honest about it. And it is something that I did try to hide for almost two months and it is something that I did try to keep private. I'm not monetizing this video. This is a video for me and for you and for nothing else. And I hope this video gives you some kind of explanation as to why I kept or tried to keep this private for as long as I did. I choose to put my life online and I love sharing stuff with you. When I first started this channel I straight away shared a lot because I really enjoyed that and my videos are always about sharing the good, the bad and the ugly. Um, because like every person in life, like you guys, I go, go through amazing times and I go through not amazing times and that is my real, my real like directive and I couldn't do this without being genuine and without lying and It's my choice to put my life online and I, when I do that and when something like this happens it means that I also have to share that and explain and and explain why I just needed time to process what has happened. It wasn't straightforward, it's still, still very painful and I needed time to be okay enough to, to do this video. Um, when I posted my moving video, I still hadn't told some of my, like, um, real life friends that this had happened and it was really important for me to be able to, to do that. And I hope you understand that that's why I couldn't share everything straight away. Um, and ultimately this is social media and I know I can't escape from that and you guys probably guessed anyway. You probably see that I've moved house, so I kind of explained something and... I was doing wedding content and I'd planned stuff before Christmas. Um, it's all just been a bit of a mess having to delete all of that. I didn't know how to deal with, like... <sighs> like my engagement ring, like... <laughs> what do you even do with an engagement ring? Dave moved out over Christmas and um, we're not engaged anymore, we're not getting married and this has been such a long journey of love and my life with him that I've shared with you, most of you already know this. David is basically my ex um, and we've been off and on for eight years which is a huge amount of time, um, well it feels like it to me. Um, most of my teens I spent either with Dave or falling out of love with Dave or engaged to him. We had planned to get married in spring 2019. Um, we'd looked at wedding venues. And that is who I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Um, I want to give you some sort of explanation as to what happened. Um, which might also explain some of the other things that happened. I also want to explain what's happened is extremely hurtful and painful and... It's something that my family and I are still trying to come to terms with. I am trying to keep some of it private. Um, and I hope that you understand that. Clearly there's a lot of love between us. Eight years. I mean, I would never have got engaged to someone that I wasn't really in love with. We had amazing times together and there was so much love and fun and memories. Um, when I look back at that. And when I look back at the last eight years, I don't regret a single thing. And that, I think, is what made it more difficult. Um, because I was incredibly vulnerable to to that love. Uh, that's what you do. You make yourself vulnerable to that person. Um, you know, it's an amazing feeling. And when it goes wrong, it hurts even more because, like, you're at one with that person. And then all of a sudden it's gone 
Fellow. Quite early on in my relationship, my physical health was severely affected by him. Um, and that's something that I spent a lot of time in and out of hospital with. And I spent... I made a decision a long time ago to keep that private and that is what I've tried to do and I know at times it's been hard because my content and things in my life haven't been as good as they should be because this affects me day to day um, quite badly and... I'm not going to be sharing that because it's just too difficult. Um, but I chose to work through that um, and move forward and have a, have a relationship with a man that I wanted to have a life with and my family stood by that and they really supported us and... Um, they really stood by us and ultimately that put a huge strain on our relationship. It doesn't matter how many good times you have and all the amazing things that you do and all the love and the genuine love that you have for each other when there is something like a cloud always there in the relationship. Unless you are united as a team together to try and come through that, that cloud will eventually break you. And we were not united at all with that. We needed support. Um, other people got involved. And it sort of did the complete opposite. And I don't know whether that's because we were embarrassed or we were protecting our reputations or what, but... Ultimately, I felt very, very alone. Um, yeah. It's very difficult to forgive somebody when, in hard situations, they are putting their own feelings first over what is the right thing to do. If the world was full of nice people, then it would be a much better place. But some people just can't harp can't help but be nasty here. Yeah. But anyway, when I got engaged, I don't know, I just thought things would change. Um, I thought I would be someone's everything. Clearly, when I put that ring on my finger, he had a very different idea to what love and loyalty and respect is in a relationship. And um, for me, that is about standing by someone and supporting them and working together and loving each other. Um, I wanted that happy ending so, so much more than anything. And it's sad because the last, well, the past few years, I've put so much pressure on having that happy ending. Um, and for something to happen like this, which is so incredibly cruel and heartless, I just feel, like, devastated. I feel like I was like a tick box to his life, like get married, have children, blah, blah, blah. But he switched off to me emotionally to protect his own self-worth and there's not much that I could do to save our relationship. I didn't feel like I could be me, I felt like I lost me, I felt so incredibly worthless, um, there was love, but it's very difficult to understand or feel that when someone can't show that to you, and you're left ultimately, um, paying the price for that in a relationship, and that affects everything, it affects it affected my entire life, it affected my friend, friendships, work, family. By the end of it, I was just angry, I felt an incredible amount of anger. Um, but I knew I'd done everything I could to 
make that relationship work and I thought 110% that it was going to. But everything was starting to come affected from this relationship. Like, my mind hit a very low point. My Physically, I became unwell. But I know that I'm worth a lot more than that situation. And um, I'm glad that this has happened now instead of spending years married to someone and actually having children and then all of this coming out after that. And I guess the most important thing is that I get myself back on track and um, get as much of my health as I can back and somehow rebuild myself and my life again. I'm sure in his own way he is also hurting too. And of course you miss that person so much regardless of what they've done to you. Like hugely, but... Well, when you're still in love with that person, you know, when you separate, it isn't just gone, you still love them, but I am actually okay, and I am going to be okay, and I've had so much support from friends and family, I can't even tell you, um, there is some really good people in life, and you find them when you're going through the worst times in life, and... Um, yeah, I think that's, that's it for now.